I'll show you a combined stress problem uh, in this example. This is from the textbook that I use uh, in this class. You can see the um, reference for that in the openeducator.com. So this is an example for uh, combined stress. Um, we're going to see how different kinds of stress act together and then what kind of effect does that have on that body so this problem is asking find the effect on that AA plane so first we have to find all of these um, different stress on these different points so let's draw the free body diagram so if I draw the free body diagram it's gonna look like this so let's do so from here I have about uh, 26 kilonewton and then I have from here 13 kilonewton and then there is a cable on s at this point C let's assume this load is C and then if when I draw the free body if I move the remove that joint here I will have a vertical force and a horizontal force so if I take I say this point is A if I take moment with respect to A in solving any um, free body diagram and then try to find the force it is always um, the a good idea to take the moment with respect to the uh, joint where you have two reaction forces so you can cancel both of them then there will be just one unknown there so if I take moment with respect to A for that 20 for that C force let's, that would be a um, positive counterclockwise and that's given 2 meter so positive counterclockwise force C times 2 meter and then for that 26 it's gonna make a clockwise motion so 26 kilonewton times this distance is given 1 and then 13 kilonewton also negative this distance is given 1 everything sum to 0 so if I solve for C, I have found that 32.5 kilonewton. So then if this is 32.5 kilonewton, then this um, horizontal force will also be 32.5 kilonewton. How about the direction will be on this way to the right direction? V will be summation of these upward forces, so that's going to be 39 vertical force. Now, because he's asking what is happening at that cross section A, we have to cut at that cross section. So, if I cut at that cross section to see what is happening inside A, I have I'm not going to see that force, uh, cable force or the 13 kilonewton. I will not also see that 26 kilonewton because everything is after that point. So if I cut from there, I don't see anything on the right side. So the only thing I will have is that 39 kilonewton and 32.5 kilonewton. And they're all acting at 45 degree angle. Now, when I cut that piece, I have to balance that, check that concept on chapter 13. To balance, I will just have a downward shear force and a counterclockwise moment to balance that piece. Now, uh, to calculate that V and moment, I think I found the easiest way would be to resolve both of these forces along this direction and along this direction. So for this 32.5 kilonewton is going to be 32.5 times cosine 45 degree and this component would be 32.5 cosine or sine their same value so it doesn't really matter and then I have uh, this force 39 which will also be this direction 39 cosine or sine this direction 39 cosine or sine 45 degree now if I calculate the um, if I do summation of uh, FY in this direction positive 
all four sum to zero so i can write down that so 39 cosine 45 is uh let's see that is 22 point i don't know which one is 22 i think that's 27 so that 27.58 uh is gonna be positive and negative 32 cosine uh, 45 that's gonna go downwards that's 22.98 negative V is equal to 0 so I found V is equal to uh, 4.6 kilo Newton is it because I really don't need V however now let's do uh, calculate that moments if I take moments summation of all moments counterclockwise 0 um, so for the actual load there will be no moment for this component because it's going to pass through that same plane so I'll have moment for this force and moment for this force and they're all uh, one meter away from that point so that's one meter so I can write that for the 39 cosine 45 which is will do with which will do a clockwise moment so 27.58 kilonewton times one distance one meter away as clockwise so that's minus and then I will have a, a counterclockwise uh, 22 point uh, 30 uh, 22 point that is basically 22.98 eight. So for that, I'm going to have positive counterclockwise 22.98 and then positive M counterclockwise equal to 0. M equal to, it's basically the same value as the shear kilonewton. So that's the moment, counterclockwise moment at that point. negative that's positive okay now let's do the uh, calculation so I don't have any pays left there so what I have at that plane is if I when I draw that um, I'm gonna kind of redo it here so in that plane the shear force I had 4.6 I think and then the moment uh, was 4.c that was counterclockwise that was counterclockwise too so now and then I have some axial loading here that is 22.98 plus 27.58 so that's totals is equal to let's see if I have calculated that in anywhere 50.56 kilonewton so for this I will have the axial stress so axial stress as says Sigma a is the load 50.56 kilonewton divided by the area so the area is 0 0.240 times it's given in the problem um, 140 um, so what is given is is the dress dimension is given 250 millimeter by 140 millimeter um, 150 millimeter that's the dress dimension and it's dressed in all four uh, direction 4s by 4 so all side dress so the actual dimension would be 241 millimeter you can find that in the appendix times 140 millimeter so you should be using that value not that this dimension so not the nominal dimension meter is square so if I calculate that I found I found 1398.6 so this is calculated 1398.6 kilonewton so I can write that 1.398 mega sorry this is in kilopascal so this is in megapascal that's the actual stress 
Now to calculate bending stress, I have the bending moment, so I know that bending uh, stress is MC by I. Now if I draw this uh, cross section of the piece, look like this. So this is the neutral axis, XX. This is 140, so I can write 0.14. I'm going to write the dress dimension. And that is 0.241. So the C would be 0.241 divided by 2, which is I found 0.1205. This is all in meter. So if I calculate I, which is 1 by 12, BH cube, H is 0.241 meter cube. So I found that 1.633 10 to the power negative 4 meter power 4. I'm not sure negative 3 or 4. I think it's 4. And then that's I. So I know that. And then C is equal to 0 0.1205. So I can plug all this number here. FB is equal to 4.6 kilonewton was the newton meter was the moment times 0 0.1205 divided by I, which is 1.633 times 10 to the power uh, negative 4, I think, meter power 4. So FB, I have got that value 3.39 mega Pascal so that's a B now this actual st st stress was compressive stress as you can tell from the free body diagram however the bending stress let me go back to the previous page because the moment was found counterclockwise like this so that was the moment I calculated then this um, the uh, the bottom fiber will be in tension and then top fiber will be in compression so it you can keep this in plus minus so depending on which uh, section you're talking about so you can just write the total stress that will be equal to negative 139 the compressive stress mega pascal plus minus 3.39 mega pascal for the bending now if you and when you're talking about the bottom fiber it's going to be plus because of the tension when you talk about the top fiber it will be compression uh, and that will be negative now um, if this load were counterclockwise, then all those tension, negative, positive would change. So it depends on what you get in your calculations.